Hi, welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's class three, under coupled circuits or we call as magnetic circuits, we are going to see some basic numericals based on self inductance and mutual inductance. In the previous classes, we have seen the formula for self inductance, which was given by L1 equal to N1 pi by I1, whereas mutual inductance value between the two coils, which are placed shown this particular figure, is given by N2 phi 2 by I1. And the coefficient of coupling between these two coins is obtained to be m by under root of l1 plus sorry l, under root of l1 l2 which is denoted as coefficient of coupling uh, that is given by k so we are going to see the uh, basic numericals based upon these formulas also we know that the inductance when they are connected in series which is shown in figure one and figure two this is known as cumulative arrangement this is called as differential arrangement for this the equivalent inductance is given by L equal to L1 plus L2 plus 2M, whereas for differential arrangement it is given by L1 plus L2 minus 2M. If the same inductors are placed in parallel, shown in figure 3 and 4, which is known as cumulative arrangement and differential arrangement, the formula for equivalent inductance is given by L equal to L1 L2 minus M squared by L1 plus L2 minus 2M, and differential arrangement L is given by L1 L2 minus M square by L1 plus L2 plus 2 M. So these are the things which we have seen from our past classes, the derivations involved with series and parallel inductance. So if you have inductance, this is how we are going to find out. So let us go with the numericals. The first one, we need to find out the equivalent inductance between X and Y. Here you can see if there are two inductors which are connected in parallel and the arrangement is in series with 0.4. So the formula for parallel inductance is given by L equal to L2 L3 minus M square by L2 plus L3 plus or minus 2M. So based upon the cumulative and differential arrangement, uh, the plus and minus signs are changed. But fortunately in this problem, we don't have any mutual inductance value given. So here we are going to treat the value of M which is equivalent to 0. And we are going to assume three inductors individually as L1 equal to 0.4 Henry's, L2 equal to 0.32 Henry's, L3 equal to 0.24 entries. Okay. Now the formula for equivalent inductance between X and Y, this inductor 4.4 entries is in series with so is in series with the parallel arrangement of uh, 0.32 and 0.24. So substituting the values for L1, L2, L3, we are going to get LXY, which is equal to 0 0.537 Henry's. This is a simple problem. Let us go with the next numerical. The combined inductances of two coils connected in series is 0.4 Henry's or 0.2 Henry's depending upon the relative directions of currents when series aiding and series opposing are respectively. If one of the coils has self inductance of 0.1 Henry, we need to find out the mutual inductance and coefficient of coupling. So L1 it is taken here to be 0 0.1 Henry. And cumulative value is 0.4 Henry's, L differential value is 0.2 Henry's. So L cumulative will be equal to L1 plus L2 plus 2M, which is the series formula for cumulative arrangement. So here it is obtained to be 0.4 Henry's. Likewise, we have differential value as 0.2 Henry's. Let us trade these two equations as Roman 1 and 2. Adding these two equations, we are going to get 2 times of L1 plus L2 is equal to 0.6, and L1 plus L2 equal to 0.3. But L1 you are assumed to as 0 0.1 as given in the problem. So L2 will be equal to 0 0.2 Henry's. Now if at all we subtract uh, 2 from 1, we are going to get M whose value is 0 0.05. So the mutual inductance value it is obtained here as 0 0.05 Henry's. Now coefficient of coupling is given by M whole divided by under root of L1, L2. So substituting the values of M, L1, L2, we are going to get the coefficient of coupling which is here obtained as 0 0.35. So this is how we solve uh, these kind of simple problems. Let us see another combination under series. That is, two coils are connected in series and their effective inductance is found to be 12 Henry's. If one of the coils connections is reversed, the effective inductance is 6 Henry's. So calculate the self inductance and mutual inductances if the coefficient of coupling is 0.4. So we know the formula for cumulative coupling, which is given as 12 Henry. 
differential value as 6 Henry. So subtracting 2 from 1, we are going to get m whose value is 1.5 Henry. Um, if at all we substitute the value of 1.5 Henry in equation 1, we are going to get L1 plus L2 plus 2 times of 1.5 equal to 12. In fact, L1 plus L2 will be equal to 9 Henry's. Okay. Since coefficient of coupling is given by this formula, we can also get the formula for L1, L2 in terms of m and k, that is m square by k. So this value is obtained to be 5.625. Uh, let us treat this equation as 4. Uh, now, I am rearranging the formula of L1 minus L2 whole square, which is equal to L1 plus L2 whole square minus 4 L1, L2. This A minus B square is equal to A plus B square minus 4AB, that formula we are using here. So substitute the value of L1 plus L2 which is 9 and 4 times multiplied with 5.625 that is the value of L1, L2. So here the value of L1 minus L2 it is obtained to be 7.64 Henry's. Let me treat this equation as 5 so that I can obtain the values of L1, L2 with the help of equation 3 and 5. When you add them, we are going to get 2 times of L1 equal to 16.64. In fact, L1 will be equal to 8.32 Henry's. Now, if at all subtract 5 from 3, we are going to get L2 whose value is 0 0.68 Henry's. So, same kind of problem, but uh, sometimes it is answered in different ways. Still, you should be in a position to answer the problem. Now here you can see in question 4, the total inductance of two coils A and B when connected in series is 0.6 Henry's or 0.3 Henry's depending upon the relative directions of the current in the coils. Coil A when isolated from coil B has a self inductance of 0.1 Henry. We need to calculate mutual inductance between the two coils, self inductance of coil B, the coupling factor between the coils and a special case the two the two possible values of the induced EMF in coil A when the current is decreasing at 100 amperes per second in the series circuit. So let us see how we solve this problem. So we know that L cumulative and L differential values which is given here to be 0.6 and 0.3 Henry's respectively. So with these two equations, I am going to get the value of M as 0.075 Henry's. Also, when I'm going to add these two equations, I'm going to get the value of L2, which will be equal to 0.35 Henry's. And since K is given by this formula, we can also obtain the value of K, which is equal to 0.4. Now, once we are done with these values, a special case here, here it is the two coils, sorry, the two possible values of the induced TMF in coil A when the current is decreasing at 100 amperes per second in the series circuit. So the formula here it is V1 is equal to L1 di by dt plus or minus m di by dt. So since series circuit, so same current will be flowing and self inductance value is L1, mutual inductance value which is here m. So better I take the cumulative arrangement. Uh, the value of V1 will be equal to 0 0.1 which is the value of L1. Di by dt is nothing but 100 amperes per second it is given here plus m value is 0 0.075 multiplied with the 100. So V1 here it is obtained to be 17.5 volts under coil A. Similarly, if I take this minus sign, I'm going to get the value of same V1 voltage, which is equal to V1 is equal to L1 di by dt minus m di by dt, substitute the values. So here the value of the induced voltage in the coil A will be 2.5 volts. So these are the two possible values uh, of the induced EMFs in the coil A when current is decreasing at 100 amperes per second in the series circuit. So I hope you have understood the basics or the simple problems based on self and mutual inductance. In later classes, we are going to see typical examples also dot convention under magnetic circuits. I hope you like this video. Please share among your friends, subscribe to this channel and please Press the bell icon for the future notifications.